Do you love repetitive work? That's a shame, because we are taking it away from you. At least some of it. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm a product management engineer for DaVinci Developer Adaptive. And today I want to introduce you to some of our new features for the upcoming version 2.16 of our tool. Have you ever had to set com grants over and over again in your XML by hand? Check out our new feature and add all your com grants with just one click. You now have the option to add com grants to control the use of service interfaces and their deployment elements for a machine. Therefore, you have several options. You can access the local com access control tab in the machine editor. In the processes tree knot, you find the overview of all processes in your machine. If you want a more detailed view, you can go to each individual process and adjust the com grants there. And it's the same for the software cluster editor. You also have access to an overview table for all contained processes of a software cluster and the detailed view for each process. You can add and remove COM grants for each element with a checkbox. Please note that for some IP, you can only add COM grants for an entire event group instead of each individual event. We made sure that you can edit COM grants without activating them right away. So if you are happy with your adjustments and want to enable local COM access control for your machine, just click the checkbox above the table. If you want to get a good overview and gain a deeper understanding of the Microsoft Adaptive concept, then this is for you. We extended our help contents with information about the abstract idea of adaptive that will help you to make sense of this complex topic. Additionally, you will find detailed information for the general requirements to use Microsoft Adaptive, how to avoid common mistakes, and improve your work with DaVinci Developer Adaptive. We are currently focusing on performance improvements along with some code refinements and plan to have some major new features soon. We are also working on improving the usability of our tool, so we wanted to thank everyone who provides us with their telemetry data. This helps us a lot to improve the tool. Thank you. If you also want to help us improve the user experience, consider sharing your telemetry data too. To gain even more insights from the user's perspective, we are currently interviewing users of the tool as well. Please feel free to use our feedback button for anything you want to tell us. Experiences, improvements, issues or new feature requests. We are looking forward hearing from you. And as usual, if you want to know more about the Microsoft Adaptive concept or if you have any other questions, please don't hold back and contact our support team. We always love to help you. Thank you all for watching this video. If you are interested in more information about DaVinci Developer Adaptive, I can recommend this playlist. Here you can find all the What's New videos of DaVinci Developer Adaptive and some quick tips and tricks. If you want to stay up to date, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. Have a nice day and see you next time.